So I'm going to make some adjustments to this mesh and then add some clothing. I'm going to use the same technique throughout. So we're going to select some faces and then detach them using the detach button on the modeling ribbon. Detach as clone, that makes a new object. Uh, select the object from the layer stack and rename it. And then we'll add the push modifier and that will allow me to just add some thickness like that and then we can change the color and uh, we'll have a, a shoe object to work with uh, it's not much that needs to be done to this so I'm just going to level the top so add a new edit poly modifier to preserve the new thickness that we have select the top edge and use the align to z-axis to just straighten it all out and uh, do a little bit of styling on the top. Thinking about it, just add a swiftly tool to take a slice out of it. And delete those polys. That'll do. Select all the bottom vertices. I'm just going to align those to the ground. So uh, I'm just going to type in a value at the bottom of the screen into the Z value, zero that. That's sitting on the ground plane, and then also just to make sure we'll use the align to z axis just to make sure they're all flat. That looks a bit thick, so I'm going to pull it all down. And you can see it clips through the original shape of the foot. Uh, so, since I don't need that bit of the mesh anymore, I'm just going to delete it. And that's really the whole technique. So, you, you clip off the bit of the mesh, make some adjustments, um, and remove the main bit of the body mesh that is now occluded by the new mesh. I, you don't, you, we don't need to see, we, if we don't see the polygons then we don't need to see them at all. Uh, so just speed up now, do the same for the trousers, select some mesh and clone that object, change its colour, add a symmetry modifier. Now I'm just going to add the push modifier and you can see that I've added, added it in a different place in the stack so rather than being the top it's in the middle and you can see if I do that it splits the mesh because the um, vertices are pushed along their normal and the normals aren't quite facing one axis but if I add it in the correct place on the modifier stack then everything gets pushed in the right direction and it remains as one piece so very quickly then I'm adding a new edit poly modifier on top of all that lot I sort of add thickness and a new thickness symmetry modifier to keep going So ordering in the stack is important. It is a little computer program, and if you do stuff out of order, then um, unexpected stuff will happen. You won't get the result you want. So here, um, when I try and scale stuff in, I have to make sure that I've got the correct axis selected, otherwise it'll um, not scale incorrectly. So I'm trying to make end caps for all these bits. So just to hide the seam between the body and the trousers. Add a few more edge loops just to tidy things up. Add the symmetry modifier on the shoe. So now everything's symmetrical. And I can start work on the jacket. Oops, made a mistake. Make sure to uh, clone the object, not just to touch it, otherwise it will lose the original mesh. So again, adding a new edit modifier on my top of my push so that I can play with changes. I think I want this to be uh, symmetrical, so I'm going to add symmetry modifier, very soon. Or not. Just um, give the back of the mesh a little volume to make it feel like it's hanging off the shoulders. Then I add the symmetry modifier, and I think I can just make a bit more detail around the shoulders. And make that curve a little less boxy. That'll do. Um, I'm going to add some wrist guards. Um, this is kind of habit, really, for 
um, low poly animation. I'm not sure if the character design really needs it, but um, it will make rigging the character a lot easier if I can split the mesh at this point. Um, it will make um, adding the wrist twist a lot easier and it will stop the mesh collapsing if I can just hide that join uh, with some end caps. So I'm going to do a couple more videos in the series on low poly characters, so just uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I'll see you soon.